I'm Corey Nicole Clay, and I grew up in Mandeville, Louisiana. When I go outside, what I like to do most is play football or basketball or just hit the volleyball or something that has movement with it. Sometimes I just run. I love running. I can't even remember most of the things I used to do before I came and got saved. It's just so wonderful. You know, all of us have storms in our lives. Well, they had literally had a storm in their life. And Hurricane Katrina had just destroyed their home there. And so they uprooted and came here to Madison County. And the family was having storms and turmoil and they needed help. And, and Stephen, Corey's dad, um, came to Babs Children's Homes to get that help that they needed. And it was bad. I mean, it was real bad. I just went to my knees and asked the good Lord to, to lead me somewhere where my, my children can get the help that they need. And uh, they let us here. When I first came here, it was kind of a long night because getting used to a new bed and new people and new place to live, it's hard on everybody. She had a hard time at first adjusting here. Um, every day was a bit of a struggle. She wanted to do well, but just did not have it within her to do that at that time. She was uh, belligerent at the time and sometimes disrespectful. Um, she had issues she was dealing with and she had a lot of turmoil in her life. It's just a good place for a child to come into a good structured Christian environment and learn. And the parents can learn too. If I wasn't here at Broy Hill or without any of these people in my life, I wouldn't be the same person. I just wouldn't be me. This is a new quarry and it's because of these house parents helping me and everything. She had really bonded with us, I think as a family, because um, we have in our cottage, our house parent teams work two weeks on duty and two weeks off duty. And the two weeks that Bill and I are not on duty, my mother and father are the house parents that would work with us. They were grandma and grandpa figure, and we got a mother and father figure in our daughter and son-in-law that work here too. And, uh, and the kids like that. And they kid us about it, you know, but we, we just have a good time. And so we had a true family environment and Corey just really needed that family environment and she just really blossomed with us in that setting. That November, on November 20th, me and my best friend Shauna got saved. And it was while we were in youth group, we were talking about the, uh, we were talking about revelations on how everybody sins we need to confess of them and ask God for forgiveness. And it had touched my heart because of how I've acted and everything. And the majority of my cottage got saved that night, which was like the best thing ever. And then I got baptized on May 2nd. After she had her salvation experience, she changed immensely her attitude, um, her desires. She's one of the most loving children I've ever come across. Corey would put anybody before herself uh, in a way that most teenagers don't. Most teenagers care about what they're wearing, how their hair is fixed, if they have the latest gadgets and cell phones and all this. She doesn't have those things and she doesn't care. She doesn't ask about them. She doesn't mention them. She's not a worldly kind of person. Most people think I'm weird because I don't care about what other people think. All I care about is what Jesus thinks. And that's just the way that I live. The Lord means everything. He's what keeps me going every day. And knowing that He's by my side every day, just, it makes me happy. And 
I wouldn't be able to do anything without him. She has a look about her that she's just, life is good for her. And she's happy because she loves the Lord. And she shares that with everybody. She just wants everybody to know, you know, that the Lord has made such a difference in her life. And she's, she's new, and that's what we're supposed to be when that happens to us. And, and just thank goodness for Baptist Children's Homes where she had the pl a place to be, to be taken care of and loved, unconditional love. We give these children unconditional love. Doesn't matter what they've done. And she's safe here, and she, um, she's just a new girl. She's a new person. The most rewarding thing for me is that um, I feel like I do get to to uh, carry out the Great Commission while I work here. Um, uh, it's not the, the programs or the procedures or anything that, we just get to share the gospel and we get to live that and, and fulfill the Great Commission that way. And the flower, it just reminds her of when I used to always bring her flowers every day. Uh -huh. And the heart means we love each other unconditionally. We're here to make sure that these children know about Jesus and His love. And that's what we do every day. We show them that love and we teach them that love. And when they come to that decision and, and make that decision for themselves, it's just, it's wonderful for us because that's why we're here. The changes that have happened, I have a better bond with my dad. My bond's getting stronger with my biological mom. My stepmom, she's practically my real mom, and she's still there, and I love her. Since she's been here and, and she's gotten saved and we've all learned how to deal with things that come up, her and I's relationship has definitely gotten stronger. Um, the bond is a lot stronger with her and I now. Um, she's definitely changed. She's matured beyond what I thought would happen. And I love these people to death. It, they're not my friends, they're, they're my second family. Because we've been down, they know I've been through a lot of hard roads and knocks and they've helped me through it. That's the message that I would want to get out to everybody is it, it's not just about, you know, these kids that are, uh, that have behavior issues or whatever. It really is about healing families and introducing them to Christ. What I would like to say to NC Baptist is Baptist Children's Homes wouldn't be the same without them. And if we didn't have their help, Baptist Children's Homes wouldn't be here. And there wouldn't be so many kids getting help that they need. It's a great place. And I love it here. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I